Fitzgerald. Pleasant good morning. It's time we start the ball going with the celebration of our beloved sister. Um, we come here to celebrate her life and her legacy. And I'm, I'm praying and I'm hoping that we can give her the celebration that she deserves. I pray and I hope that we do everything in decent and in order. We all know we'll be battling with COVID-19. So I pray if you're on program, we pray that you do what you're asked to do and take your seat. And I'm sure God will be with us if we follow the protocol. I have been here several times, and each time it, it feels the same for the family. So we don't come to add no more grief or sorrow to them, but we come to lift them up and help them try to process and get through this. And I'm praying that you be obedient, but let's, let's praise God, because despite it all, God is still good. So after, uh, after me will come Reverend Jerome Osbrooks with the Old Testament and New Testament and Pastor Connell, Connell and Joseph to lead us to the throne. Good morning and greet you in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Old Te Testament reading will be found in Psalms 23. It reads thusly, The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thy prepare a table before the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head with oil. And my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our New Testament reading will be found in John, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 6. And it reads thusly Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me but by me. No man cometh to the Father but by me. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his holy word. We will go to the throne of grace with Reverend Cornell Joseph now. We would ask that you would bow. Our Father and our God in heaven. We come before you this morning because you said whenever we need you, we can call you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Dear Lord, that your will be done in earth as it's already done in heaven. Give us this day for our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have sinned and trespass against thee. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from sin and evil. For thine art your kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Father, here it is once again. We come on behalf of this Solomon family. God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would help them to cast all they cares upon you, for you care for them. You promise never to leave them alone. So now, oh God, this morning, we 
We ask that you pull them in the hollow of your hands. We ask that you dry tears from their eyes. And God, let them know that weeping just may endure for a night. But joy will come in the morning. God, keep this family now. Wrap your stronghold of protection around them. For we know now. Tina had a relationship with you. The word says, absent from the life is to be present with the Lord. Now, dear God, keep them in your care. For we ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray. Amen.
members, and Tina is with us every day. Tina lived her life with a beautiful woman and with a smile on her precious face. A world that was full of happiness is now an empty place. People say that only time would heal a broken heart, but just like us and Tina, it has been torn apart. We know you are at peace now and in a place where you are free. Meet me at the current gate when heaven calls for me.
for the night with joy.
He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears 
from off their faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken, for the Lord has spoken it. Family, visitors and friends, for a few moments, Jesus gives us victory over death. All right. All right. Jesus gives us victory over death. Sometimes death comes suddenly or unexpectedly. Yes, sir. We all know that death is a painful reality of life. Yes. And the truth be told, we all have to die. Hmm. There's an appointment that can't be changed, postponed, delayed, denied, or canceled. <coughs> Scripture says it's appointed for man wants to die. Hmm. In living in 2021, it seems like we are living in the land of the dying, trying to get to the land of the living. Yes. Dealing with the loss of a loved one is never easy. No matter how many times we come here. Hmm. Believe it or not, it's never the same. No. It always hurt differently. That is even, it's not even natural. It's not even right. Matter of fact, scripture says it was a curse from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's why we never get used, used of death. Hmm. And personally, all I know it's Jesus is the answer to death. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus knows the meaning of death. Not only does he, Jesus is the answer, but Jesus has the power over death. Jesus trounced the tragedy of death on the cross with his own precious blood. How many know that Calvary still has power? The blood will never lose its power. Jesus is our victory over death. Yeah, man. Yeah. Still is the source. Still is the solution. Still is the supply yeah. of all our strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Scripture recalls that Jesus had some enemies. Uh -huh. Three main enemies Jesus had is the devil's sin, and the last enemy that he will destroy is death. Right. And brothers and sisters, the true benefits of salvation of being saved. Jesus died also to give us power over death and the devil. Jesus died to pay the penalty of our sin. But he also died to prove his power over death. All right. All right, all right. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes, my tears, and my feet from falling. Yeah, man. Yeah. Jesus has defeated death for us, when he rose from the dead, yes, and death no longer is the source of dread or fear mm. for the born again Christian. Mm -hmm. See, the born again abiding life has no fear of death. Mm. Brothers and sisters, when I ran in Katina, when I ran into Sister Solomon, she was at another church. She said, I'm coming home under watch care. Then she came to church and I wasn't here. She knocked on my office door and left me a note. She came back because she was serious about our salvation. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be in good standing with her God, with our church, and with our pastor. Yeah, yeah. And brothers and sisters, don't get it twisted. This pandemic should have taught us the valuable, the value of life and family. Right, how valuable they are. Right, right, the body of life in Christ won't hesitate to restore fellowship with his brother. Right, right, right. Real kingdom living won't let your goodness turn into bitterness. Mm. Won't jeopardize my relationship with my heavenly father. Why? Because I got to live a certain way because I want my prayers to be answered. Yeah. What did Jesus do unto death? Even though death hurts and is painful, we're not here to focus on what we have lost. We came to celebrate and praise God when he's blessed us with. Yeah. 
Why, Reverend? Because she was saved. Not only because she was saved, but God is still good. Yeah. I'm going to stop for a moment and thank God because he's still good. We come to celebrate our life in the She was saved. She was born again. She was right with God. Nobody said she was perfect, but she was saved. And the Christian does not experience sorrow without hope. Come on, Ray. But my hope, my hope, my help, my happiness is in my Savior. So I'm right to say my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Told me when I can't see my way to look to the hills from which coming my help. Promise never to leave me or forsake me. See, never seen the righteous forsaken in his seed. Thinking, but we serve an awesome God this morning. Picked up, bowed down the heads, comfort hearts. We serve a mighty God. And David summed it up in the 23rd song in verse number 4. Ye go, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Can I break it down to you? A shadow of a car can't hit you. A shadow of a man can't hit you. A shadow of a gun can't hit you. It's not death. It's just a shadow. And I would fear no evil. Why, Reverend? Because thou, thou. Because Jesus, thou are with me. And when I get down and discouraged, yeah. the shout this morning is, I got his presence. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody ever had his presence, uh -huh. when there was no food on the table, did you have his presence? Yeah. When the light bill was passed through, did you have his presence? Yeah. When your heart was hurt, didn't you have his presence? I want to know if you know this morning that he will come through. Yeah. 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 Say no weapon. Formed against me shall prosper. Oh, yeah. If God be for us, who can be the morning conquer us? Yeah. I hear my grandma, can't nobody do me like Jesus. We yeah. said, awesome God, we can praise God for a moment. Yeah. 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 Jesus overcame death. Uh -huh. One day we will also overcome death in this world. Yeah. What he said in scripture, Reverend, he said you should have trials and tribulations. Uh -huh. See, we ought to be happy because he said be of good cheer. Yeah. I want to know if there are any overcomers in the house today. Uh -huh. Not only that, he said we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. How many got a testimony that God will come through, that God will comfort this family, that God will dry their weeping eyes, that God will walk with them, that God will talk with them, that God will call them yeah. Yeah. their own. Yeah. We're overcomers. What you on? My pastor said, I done died once, <laughs> but I ain't going to die no more. Right. To live in Christ, yeah. to live as Christ and to die is gain. Yeah. Yeah. Whosoever living and believing in me shall never die. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, the blessed benefit of salvation, living in Jesus, give us the right hmm. to live forever. Y'all yeah. missed the shout right there. We live in Christ on earth. We rise in Christ in heaven. Break it down, Reverend. God transfers for, transfer us from this world into his presence. Yeah. When you are saved, huh. when you are saved, yeah. when you are saved, Come on, Reverend. when you are saved, yeah. when you are saved, yeah. that is not the end, but it's only the beginning. Yeah. What's, our, what's the place? true residence. Yeah, yeah. Our citizenship is in heaven. Yeah. Not only that, Jesus' purpose is to present us before the Father faultless. Oh, uh -huh. Because he loves us. Yeah. He even wiped tears from our eyes. Yeah, yeah. Some writers say, what a friend we have yeah, in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The God who cares. Uh -huh. God of all comfort. Yeah. God of all grace. Yeah, yeah. God of all mercy yeah. turns peace into turn confusion into peace. Yeah. He's the calm in every storm. Yeah. He gives us relief from grief. Yeah. He turns our pain into praise. Yeah. He turns our worry into worship. Yeah. Here's the shout he gives you joy for your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, he turns our mourning into dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gives us beauty for ashes. Yeah. When our spirit is heavy, he gives us a garment free. Yeah, yeah. Can you pray to him this morning? Yeah. Can you pray to him this morning? Oh, how excellent is thy name. Yeah. I'm going to praise him for you. Oh, how I love Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He's the sweetest name I know. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know him, oh, taste and see yeah, yeah. that the Lord is good. Yeah, yeah. He ain't just start being good.
ending. No. That has been defeated. Yeah. We have hope beyond the grave. Yes. I hear you, Paul. Oh, death, uh -huh. where is thy sting? Yeah. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Yeah. Right now, Reverend Jesus conquered death uh -huh. at the cross. Yeah. And he returns. There will be no more death. No. God is coming back. Let me help you. Uh -huh. For a house without a spot or rain. Yeah, yeah. Brothers and sisters, have you not saved? Uh -huh. If you're backslidden, uh -huh. if you forgot about Jesus, uh -huh. if you don't love the Lord uh -huh. like you used to, yeah. I urge you to get your business fixed. Uh -huh. Put your trust in Jesus. Yeah. 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 So you can have a business fix. Yeah. She loved the Lord. in order. Yes. Stop praising God. Yes. Stop living for God. Yes. Hallelujah. She had to see the corruptible. Uh -huh. She had put on incorruption. Yes. And mortal, mortal sense be yes. put on immortality. Yes. Come on, right? When that day comes, Come on, right? we will shout yes. that is swallowed up in victory. Yes. They used to sing a song. Yes. Victory is mine. Yes. I told sin. Yes.
time we all want to acknowledge and administer preachers, pastors that we might have in the house today. We ask that you stand, give your name, and your church affiliation. Thank <laughs> you. 